This is a guild-sanctioned dissemination meant for only mature audiences. Its purpose is to inform, entertain, and call to action. Before we begin in earnest, it bears mentioning that they have HD cameras on the outside of the ISS broadcasting their orbits in HD, and it is really something. But we can't just look at Earth. We have to save her. Look, I know what most of you are thinking. Am I naked? The answer to that should be pretty obvious. What with the hat? But no, this is a method. Pioneered by a friend of mine, who also happened to be a pioneer in the use of digital puppetry. Worse, I feel bad for people like you. What's gonna happen after you die? <sighs> I'll tell you what's gonna happen. God's gonna look at him, and God's gonna say, No way! You're not coming in here. You called me an eyeball. But then he went quite insane. There isn't time to get into it because the entire planetary system is collapsing. Something you should know is, in your heart, that climate change is scientific fact and that anthropogenic carbon is the source. Here is a pie chart of those scientists that agree. Here is what NASA thinks causes climate change. Did you know that NASA is monitoring climate change and that you can look at things like sea level rise in real time? There are so many images and facts, and I know even more facts than that, but there isn't time to tell you all the facts. I can throw science at you until I'm blue in the face from expelling carbon, but that doesn't help anything, does it? Because it only requires more carbon to power what I'm telling you. Here is a horrifying look at the problem of humanity, namely, the number of us. So that's bad. Also, all sea life might be dead in less than 50 years. We, we may be doomed. But look, I'm not here to terrify you, I'm here to tell you what you can do. And you better start doing it, because we're on the clock. The way the IPC sees it, we are more or less strapped in. They had painted these pictures of like an ABC scenario of 20% carbon reduction and 80% carbon reduction, and then they just stopped doing that, because the conclusion now reads something like this. Climate stabilization, climate change commitment, and irreversibility. Cumulative emissions of CO2 largely determine global mean surface warming by the late 21st century and beyond. Most aspects of climate change will persist for many centuries even if emissions of CO2 are stopped. This represents a substantial multi-century climate change commitment created by past, present, and future emissions of CO2. Due to the long time scales of heat transfer from ocean surface depth, ocean warming will continue for centuries. Depending on the scenario, about 15 to 40 percent of emitted CO2 will remain in the atmosphere longer than 1,000. 1, thousand years. So, oops. I guess we have to believe that driving around places was worth it. I'm going to quote something else for you all, and you should listen to this as well. As global average temperature exceeds 4 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels, model projections suggest that there could be significant extinctions, 40 to 70 percent of species that were assessed around the globe. Feichlin et al., Chapter 4, Ecosystems, Their Properties, Goods, and Services, Section 4.4.11, Global Synthesis, Including Impacts on Biodiversity, IPCC, AR4, Working Group 2, 2007. That is from the previous report that woefully underestimated the initial impact. They now say it could go up to as high as 8 degrees centigrade. 70% of everything extinct. Think about that. Think also about this graph that shows news coverage related to climate change. The problem is endemic, and the hegemony survives by obfuscating and distorting the truth. Look at this example of a search on the subject of too much ice for polar bears. Notice the second headline that asks, Global warming? Too much sea ice for polar bears. Until you read the third link down that uses research to explain that the reason there is too much ice is because it is melting too rapidly from Greenland and the Canadian islands. There has never been this little sea ice, not since the last ice age. We have to stop listening to the news and start listening to science. It is in our hands to solve this problem. So, solutions. 
Learn to breathe carbon. Destroy all government. Bike more. You say go, I say came. You say John, I say Wayne. I don't call a man. I don't want to be the president of America. For reals, though, the most important thing we can do as individuals is to make climate change important to everyone all the time. Force the subject into the news by actively informing yourself as to what you can do and what cannot be done. Contact your legislators on every level of government and make it clear that environmental policy, more than any other factor, guides your vote, your purchasing, and your life choices. There are so many things that we can do to save the planet, like generations before us that have spent more time killing one another than saving people. But now we are here, and we have to solve the problem that they created, and we have to do it fast. If there's too much carbon, well then we can reduce it to a point where we don't flood people with sea ice. You can absorb carbon and plants and peat and all sorts of fun places. The planet had been doing a really great job of it for a while there. Before we had to make all those fucking shower slippers. You know, but here we are, using coal-fired electricity even to relate this message to you. The time is 0830. The date, 25 May 1953. Four, three, two, one. With a degree of accuracy... My grandfather watched that nuclear cannon go off in person. He had as little control over his exposure to it as you have to the problems now, but he didn't let it end his life. He battled through to enjoy his time here and to leave the earth better than he found it. I believe we can take it back, that we can replace the forests that have been slashed and burned, that we can support and protect ecosystems from devastation. We can make sure the things we plant aren't coated with bee-killing agents, because we have also apparently managed to kill all the bees, those poor bees and tigers. I don't know how it is that people still shoot elephants. And yet, I can't pay a congressperson to shoot a constituent for sport. This is the moral failure, more than the political one. What with 7 billion asshole humans on planet, and only 32,000 Asian elephants. Here's the three-legged Asian elephant mine survivor. This world, I tell you what, I am of two minds about it. I tell you to save it, and on the other hand, wonder if humanity is worth it all. Probably it is the media, distorting my perception of the world, to lead me to believe that you are all consumerist mind slayers, pumping and farting and humping us into cold oblivion of planetary destruction. But on the other hand, here I am, just hoping that we can keep doing those things forever. And I have to believe that we still can, that our destruction is not inevitable. Science has saved us in the past from things like disease. And if we trust science and listen to it, Maybe we can find a planetary equilibrium, whereas some of the globe we don't shoot and eat, and instead we just milk. Because again, it is a weird world out there, kids. Look, I have my own plan to save the world. It involves building biospheres around the arts and creating energy while absorbing carbon. That, that is what I am trying to do. Now get your own plan on how to first remove your footprint and then relieve the load. For if we can create negative carbon loads, then maybe we can ultimately learn how to live with the planet and not from it. We have the ability, but do we have the will? Only you can answer that. Go now. Kick ass and chew bubblegum. Agent Q, out.